All right, so what is your name and what do you do for a living? Patricia and Dave from Papagallos in Sally Beach. Awesome, okay, let's do that one more time. Sorry, one more time. Uh, oh. what is your name and where, what do you do for a living? This is Trisha and Dave from Papagallos Restaurant in Sally Beach. Perfect, and how did you originally hear about the Thrive Time Show in Clay Clark? A customer of ours actually um, talked to Dave about checking out the Thrive Time crew, help us out with the uh, business stuff. Awesome. And where did you feel most stuck before you began coaching? Uh, most stuck in time management and just just trying to get away. Just everything came through me and I just couldn't get away from the place. Awesome. And what is your initial what was your initial 13 point assessment like? It was very eye opening. Uh, about 12 of the questions I had no answers for and that kind of scared me. Um, you know, they ask questions you don't think about in day-to-day -day operations, so it, it really opened my eyes that we needed help. And you had to hide behind a box to be able to do it, to get away from everybody needing them. Awesome. And what, what has it been like to work with Clay on a weekly basis? <laughs> it's, it's really, he's high energy of course, but it's very, it holds you accountable for stuff that you know you should do, but it would get put off, but when you know you're going to get on the phone, you make sure that you are doing it. Very focused one hour you got definitely things that you got to go through and hit and make sure you get done put on the list for next week jam-pack one hour perfect and uh, what wins or successes have you seen thus far I think our biggest win is staffing with the group interviews that we're always staffed where before we were always looking for people to fill spots now we're looking for spots for the people we have and just the systems of doing things consistently and being able to pass things off to the new people and going back to the staff, we're not held hostage, hostage to anybody that actually works a lot for us and we overuse them because they're a good person and you kind of end up having an issue and you have to keep them because you got nobody else. We don't have to worry about that anymore. We just do the group interview and get somebody else in. Perfect. Uh, what were you initially skeptical about before beginning with the program? Didn't really know what we were getting into. Um, we kind of committed to whatever they asked us to do. We were going to do 110% until we realized it either did or didn't work. And there's been a lot of things that came up that I didn't think would work and honestly did work. Awesome. All right, and what are a few of the uh, strategies that you've implemented thus far that have worked? Uh, first and foremost is the Google reviews and staying on top of that. Systems for every position that we never had before. Everything came from me, all the recipes were in my head. Now having those down frees me up. Those have made the biggest difference. Awesome. And uh, if I'm thinking about coming to a conference, why should I do it? You want that one? No, you go for it. Um, the biggest thing is that it gets you in a room full of people. You get a, a ton of information, but you also get to see people that are going through what you're going through, even if it's not in the same industry you're in. You see that you're not the only one going through the problems that you have. They think awesome. like you, they work like you, they got the same, same problems, different industry, but still applies. Perfect. Thank you guys. Yep.